朋友，大家好，我係 Boris， 又係我哋 Five Star Charts 嘅、uh, Learning Library 嘅時間。咁今日我會教大家點樣用呢一個 RSI Indicator， 同埋講下 RSI 嘅 Convergence 同 Divergence 嘅分別。咁、呃、我哋亦都有 professional section， 就係俾一啲、呃、追求、呃、比較 advanced 嘅技術分析嘅 trader， 佢哋可以利用 RSI 點樣去做 trading 嘅。咁大家都可以、呃、subscribe 我哋嘅 YouTube channel， 我哋 Facebook， 咁喺入面你會揾到好多我哋 Five Star Chart 嘅資料。喺呢度聲明就係呢個 video 係做教育用途，請大家唔好用我嘅分析係作為投資嘅決定。如果你哋要做投資嘅話，請你與你嘅投資顧問係查詢。誒、啊，亦都請大家係唔好 copy 我哋呢一個 YouTube 上邊 video 嘅誒 chart， 因為我哋都係有版權嘅。多謝各位。首先同大家講就係投資者點樣去用 RSI 去揾到誒、呃、投資嘅機會或者係 trading 嘅機會咧。誒、呃，呢、这個係好多人用 RSI 對於 RSI 了解係好少嘅，或者佢淨係。誒瞭解好片面 RSI 嘅用途嘅啫，咁今日會同大家講清楚 RSI 嘅用途。第一個就係 RSI 本身係一種嘅 momentum oscillator， 即係話佢係一個市場上波動嘅、呃、上落嘅、呃、oscillator， 佢係 measure 嗰個價值，即係個 price 一個方向嘅。誒、呃、指標，咁亦都係誒 measure 嗰個 rate of change， 即係佢 price 改變嘅速度同埋佢嘅幅度嘅一個指標嚟嘅。一般出面呢，大家都係用十四天嘅 RSI， 咁佢嘅 range 一般係由零至一百日。咁一般嚟講，你見到七十同埋三十嗰個、呃、位置呢，就有條線係代表呢一個我哋叫做 overbought。同 oversold 嘅情形咧，咁好多人就認為就係 out side 去到 overbought 咧就係超買，咁你就賣咗佢啦；去到三十以下就 oversold， 咁你就賣咗佢啦。其實呢個都係好、呃、片面對於 out side 嘅瞭解嚟嘅。咁 out side 嘅 calculation 咧係好簡單嘅，就係話 out side 一百減咗一百除以一加 r s 而個 r s 咧係叫做 relative strength， 其實佢係等於係 average of 某一日。佢嘅 up 同埋 average of 佢買嘅 down 係一個 ratio 嚟嘅，即係個 price 嘅 up 同 down 嘅 difference。啊，咁呢度係一個好簡單嘅 chart 咧，就係 RSI 嘅 indicator 啦。上面係 Walmart 啦，大家見到就係當 Walmart 係下跌嘅時候咧，佢嘅 RSI 就向下跌啦。當佢跌到去 below 三十咧，我哋叫做 oversold 啦。而佢上到去大概係七十呢啲位以上咧，我哋叫做 overbought 啦。咁呢個就係一般人對 RSI 嘅簡單嘅即係瞭解。咁、呃、到底係咪真係咁簡單咧？用 RSI 呢？咁有冇 professional 係將 RSI 改變成係適合佢嘅投資機會呢？第二樣大家好多人都會聽到咧，就係話 convergence 同 divergence。convergence 嘅意思就係話，當一個投資佢嘅價錢係一路創緊新高。或者佢係向下跌創緊新低，而呢個 RSI 係同佢一齊創新高，同埋一齊創新低。咁我哋叫佢就 RSI 嘅 convergence 啦。即係話咧，呢、這個 momentum 嘅 indicator 一般就係會同價值嗰個 price 咧係同步嘅。咁當我哋出現咗 divergence 嘅時候，就係話個價錢咧創新高，但係 RSI 就唔創新高。或者係價錢創新低，但 RSI 就唔創新低，咁即係意思係代表嗰樣嘢、嗰樣投資同埋佢個 momentum， 大家係叫做背離情形。當佢背離情形嘅時候咧，咁 RSI 係點樣用呢？嗱，呢一個就係一個背離情形嘅 case， 就係呢個係 Facebook， 大家睇到喺二零一七年嘅年中咧。Facebook 咧係一路向上升嘅，佢每一次咧喺七月嘅時候創一個新高，而喺一月嘅時候創一個新高，而喺七月嘅時候喺零二零一八年七月亦都創一個新高。但係我哋發現咩呢？我哋發現佢嘅 RSI 咧喺二零一七年十一月嘅時候創一個新高之後，喺二零
一百年嘅七月呢一、这個新高嘅 RSI 咧，係低過呢一個 RSI 嘅，即係話佢嘅 momentum 啊，係背離咗個 price 嘅 confirmation。雖然 price 係創到新高，但係佢嘅 RSI 創唔到新高，所以我哋叫佢係一個 bearish 嘅 divergence， 即係一個熊市嘅背離 RSI。所以我就見到預測到呢、这個呢、这個價值係大跌啦。咁而喺呢個價值大跌之後呢。佢嘅 RSI 一路咧都係喺誒三十至到七十左右之間呢啲地方係上落嘅。第二個 case 同大家講咧，就係、是、一個 bullish 嘅 convergence。bullish 嘅 convergence 就係話，當個 RSI 創一路喺呢度一路創新高啊，大家見到係一路創新高啦。而呢個 Adobe 咧，亦都係呢啲地方係一路創新高，一路創新高。呢、这個就係一個 confirmation of 嗰個 strength， 即係話價值。個 price 一路創新高，而 RSI 個 momentum 係 confirm 咗佢創新高。雖然佢跟住跌咗落嚟啦，但係佢仍然係喺 RSI 七十以上，即係相當之強嘅。後來咧，呢個 RSI 再突破、再上去，衝破咗呢啲嘅低位之後咧，我哋見到呢個大嘅巴咧，係 confirm 翻呢一個 RSI 之前產生嘅微小嘅 divergence 而 confirm 佢再升嘅。所以 price 咧就繼續向上升上去，仍然係維持喺 RSI 嘅七十以上。而到最後咧，呢、这個 RSI 一路 d e t e r i o r a t e 嘅時候，跟住係跌破咗呢一個嘅七十嘅部分咧。我哋雖然佢 price 創新高，跟住我哋見到一個正式嘅比較大啲嘅調整啦。呢、这個就係 bullish convergence RSI RSI 俾到我哋知道要跟住個 price 去走。嗱，咁對於 professional 嘅投資者點樣用 RSI？ 其實 RSI 有好多嘅用途噶，而且可以俾到我哋好好嘅 trading signal 同埋 long term 研究誒圖表嘅方法嘅。咁大家去我哋嘅 Five Star Chart Learning Library 咧，誒 under technical analysis 嘅 learning video advanced section 咧，大家就可以購買以下嘅 video 咧。就可以學埋 professional 佢哋係點用 RSI 噶啦。Mm-hmm.